personality is more than just looks or manner of speech. It's how you think, feel, and act that makes you unique. You have to do more than just read a few self-help books to develop a great character, but it is a great start. Personality lights you up in the eyes of others. Having a great personality opens up a lot of doors to opportunity for you. It dictates how people relate to you and how you relate to other people. Unlike what most people think, personalities are not necessarily written in stone. You're not necessarily born with them. They develop over time. You can decide to adopt a personality that you admire and put it into your daily life. It does require a lot of consistency, but with the right amount of effort, you could also develop the personality you want or even change the personality you have. You can be the best version of yourself by developing your personality, and that's exactly what we're talking about here today. Welcome to ALUX. Number 1. Be self-aware. Knowing yourself opens up a gateway of knowledge to you. You have to be fully aware of your flaws and your strengths and expand on them. Your strengths and skills make you stand out in a crowd and you need to work on them and improve them. It's important you know yourself and what better way is there to do that than to recognize you're a unique and irreplaceable individual. You should try as much as possible not to compare yourself with others. You should be happy with being yourself and should learn to love yourself. Always appreciate the good things about you as well. This might seem little and insignificant, but it does help to exude confidence and draws people closer to you. Learning more about yourself and improving more on yourself greatly improves your personality. Number two, form an opinion. Developing a great personality involves having your ideology or even manner of thought. You must make an opinion on various issues. You need to be able to contribute to conversations, among other things. And having opinions to contribute during conversations makes you very influential. Always be confident enough to share your opinion, even if it's conflicting. You should always rub minds together. This is a unique way to develop a great personality. Number three. Be positive. Optimism is very contagious and no one likes to be around negative people all the time. Being able to maintain a positive outlook on life and maintaining a positive aura grows your personality by a lot. You'll find a lot more people enjoy spending time with you and you'll have a positive influence on the people around you. Being positive helps you to build your self-confidence and stand strong enough in the face of disaster. And this isn't about toxic positivity and trying to be positive all the time. Someone with a well-carved out personality allows themselves to be vulnerable and express their emotions even if they're negative. But you need to be able to look past the wrong to find the silver lining in each situation. Number four, be fun. It's great to be serious and know when to be disciplined, but it also helps to wear a funny hat every once in a while. You should find a fun side to yourself. When was the last time you told a joke? A lot of people find it hard to get along with people that are too serious. Whenever an atmosphere is tense, you should try to look for ways to ease the tension by being fun. Try to have fun conversations, go to fun places, and play fun sports. You should discover a fun part of yourself. Always be open to developing that side of your personality. Number five, don't be afraid to be yourself. It's great to cultivate a great personality that's very inspiring to you, but don't lose yourself in them. It's always great to try and incorporate inspiring parts of other people's personalities into your own, but it's important not to lose yourself. Always remember to stay true to you. As attractive as a personality may seem, don't replace yours with it entirely. Always be yourself and that, in turn, will make you happy. Know your skills and talents and carry them with confidence. Trying to be someone else ends up backfiring in a lot of cases. So work on being the best version of yourself. Growing your personality helps you to develop yourself, not replace yourself. So let the self-doubt go and trust your judgment. Number six, meet new people. A great way to develop your personality is to meet new people. Meeting new people, getting to understand them and observing their way of living to open up new horizons to you. Get to learn lots more about different cultures and unique lifestyles. It really helps you to be able to get along with different people. Rub your mind with others and learn how they live and why they live the way they do. 
always be ready to socialize because it helps you to develop great relationship skills. Number seven, develop interests. When meeting new people, the first thing we try to look for is similarities. To develop a new personality, you need to develop interests, and developing interests will help you to make good conversations with people. It helps you to appear more interesting. You don't have to be dull and monotonous all the time. You should share new knowledge and interests, learn a new skill or about different things. They'll make you a more fascinating individual. Number eight, be polite and helpful. Being respectful toward other people takes you a long way. A great personality helps you to get along with people better. To develop your personality, you should develop empathy. Be as calm as possible and always be ready to help those in need. Greet people with a smile, be supportive of other people's goals, and be ready to show up when you're needed. Be humble and volunteer to help out the needy. It creates a great personality for your closest friends. Number nine have a listening ear. Listening isn't just listening to give a reply, it's mostly listening to understand people better. When people are talking, you should listen with interest and you'll learn things you know nothing about. Always put aside judgment when you're listening. Try your best not to seem distracted because there's sense even in the insane. A listening ear is a great way to improve your personality. Number 10 have a great fashion sense. It might not seem that important, but it always helps to appear smart. A lot more people than we think judge based on a first appearance. Being well-dressed reflects greatly on your personality. It also gives a confidence boost when you're dressed beautifully. It makes you look professional, and that helps to accentuate your personality, among many other things. Number 11, self-care. People tend to value those who value themselves. More often than not, people see you the exact way you see yourself. You should love yourself, Alexer. Eat healthy, exercise when you can, and at all times, prioritize your mental health. It might seem like it has nothing to do with personality, but how you feel inside reflects a lot on how you act on the outside. Number 12, develop a great body language. A lot of our verbal communication skills are backed up by our body language. Everyone has unique mannerisms when they speak, and more often we don't even realize we make a lot of the same gestures. The way you sit, talk, eat, walk, and even make eye contact reflects a lot about your personality and how people see you. You should develop a great posture and always use a welcoming and polite body language when you're talking to other people. Number 13, be calm and patient. A very bad personality is being impulsive, and that can risk a lot. A great way to develop your personality is to be aware of your surroundings. Access situations carefully before reacting. When you're feeling anxious, always remember to breathe. Find out what triggers you and work on what makes you angry. And find out how to deal with your frustration. This is one of the greatest gifts and personality growth that you can give to yourself. Number 14. Be confident. Do you often have doubts about your capabilities? Well, you should know that your confidence affects your productivity. You should try your very best to be as confident as possible. Confidence radiates even to those around you and draws people closer to you. Confidence is a great personality trait and everyone needs it. And if you feel the need to develop your personality, repeat positive words to yourself, read success stories, and keep positive people around you. This is sure to boost your self-esteem. Confidence is a very appealing attribute, and don't forget, confidence is a very appealing attribute, but don't forget, be confident, not cocky. Number 15, start a self-growth journal. There's no right or wrong way to start a journal. It's a personal journey you need to be consistent in. Being able to follow up on your personality growth is an excellent way to reflect on yourself and how much you've grown. You can decide how you want to improve and what exactly you would like to improve as well. Always write down what you plan to do because this will help you to solve your challenges. Watching your progress happen will make you proud of your growth and help to build your confidence as you go. Hey Luxor, at the end of the day, personality growth is becoming a better version of yourself. You need to know exactly what you're hoping to improve and what you're hoping to change. 
Luckily, we're all flexible and we can develop personalities that inspire us. It's great that we can develop our personality in any way we enjoy. And Deluxer, that's it for today. Please leave us a thumbs up if you like this video, and we hope we've inspired you to develop a great personality for yourself. Now, don't forget to tell us in the comments if we left something important out, and what you think makes a great personality because we would love to know your thoughts. Now, we've said it many times that reading books is one of the most effective ways to develop and grow into a better version of yourself. We've made the video, 15 Books Steve Jobs Thought Everyone Should Read, and we're bringing it up once again to your timeline in case you missed it the first time. It talks about books Steve Jobs felt had the most impact on his life and wanted others to gain one or two things from them. We bet you're gonna love it. Until next time, Aluxer, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Aluxer. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey, don't forget to subscribe.